It's album time. Lots of lot a lot of shit to talk it's about. It's always album time. Yeah, it's album always album time. time. Um, Swiss drop poison. Mm-hmm. What 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 are, what are your thoughts? Early or early thoughts? Thus I far? like uh, the Nas joint. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Echo. That, oh my God, that's the Nas we were waiting for. I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the real that's Nas. That's the real Nas. <laughs> he's, the, he's, the, he's the only person in the, in the freaking world with the name Nas. Yeah, no, that's, that's not what I was. Oh my oh, God. No, no, not you. Not. Oh, I was to say no, that's about, not what I was inferring. I, I, no, I, I was inferring that. <laughs> <laughs> I was definitely inferring that. <laughs> but I like that one. I like the Swiss Montana joint. Him in French. Uh, surprisingly, I like the Young Thug record. I do. I enjoy I that. You like the Young Duck record? I'm surprised. Mm. It's not bad. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, from you, yeah, that is very surprising. I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised at that. Um, what, what was my list? Let me go down to my list of records. I like uh, Echo. Uh, for me, is really, really dope. Mm-hmm. I love. Let me go back to my list. Hold on. And yeah. I, mm-hmm. And I like also Echo. like the the Pusha T joint too. So yeah, I got yeah. uh something dirty is fire. I, I like Echo. I like Cold Blooded, and I like uh, Honorable Mention for me, which I don't see a lot of people saying. But and I, I really, I really just feel like. Um, he doesn't get enough respect, yo. Jim Jones on Preach. Yeah. Jim Jones. Yo, can we just say for a minute, Jim Jones be flowing and really don't get enough respect. Yeah. No, I agree. Like, that was a good even, even his album he just put out, like, he really is, is a consistent artist that just for some reason, the masses don't yeah. take to him the way that they should. And I don't know if it's an exposure thing. I don't know if it's one of those things where uh, they, they've put him in this box of, you know, just just being like uh, in the back scenes of diplomats and all those other things like, that. you know, he was coined the, the, the uh, hype man of dip, uh, Dipset. <laughs> but let's be clear. Jim Jones could rap and he flows and he makes really good projects. Do you think that people started feeling a certain way when he went on Love and Hip Hop? What do you mean? Well, he started? He started uh, he that way. He started wave. it, yeah. He yeah. started that way. Well, wave. uh... <laughs> Well, he was on it. Oh my yeah. gosh! I don't. You know what? PC though? Nancy. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> but no. Uh, but I'm PC saying, Nancy like, you know how like now. people how people view individuals a certain way when so, they go on so, Love and Hip Hop. So, so this is my thing. I think um, when when Jim did Love and Hip Hop, I don't think uh, it was labeled the graveyard. Because people, oh, people, because it was the beginning of the New York City yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. people, people, on people car, look so. at at. Um, he was wilding. Out. Yeah, <laughs> apologize to the camera. Well, that was the thing. Yeah, he. You could tell he didn't even he didn't know how to really be on camera. Like he was threatening people. No, but he was like, being himself. He wasn't being like the self that, that you're supposed to be yeah, for love and hip hop. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I, say I what think, you said to me on camera. Yeah, I don't think that that mattered. I think that um, I don't I don't know what it is. I can't. I, I almost want to just think about it, but I really just feel like um. That was it was it was a I'm happy that he was on the Swiss project and and the beat selection that it, it just sound like classic New York gym. How'd you feel about Swiss rapping? Uh, <laughs> if I'm if I'm keeping it a buck, <laughs> if, if I'm keeping it a buck, I'm I'm not really for Swiss rapping. I'm just yeah, the, I just want the ad libs from him. That's, yeah, yeah. I, where the I, cash I, at? Where, where the cash? Yeah, at? I, I, I like that Swiss. I've never been a, a fan of Swiss rapping. I like Swiss's yeah, for Swiss me is like, is like yeah. um, uh, damn, I'm having a brain fart. now. We all are. It's late. It's okay. Yeah. We got it. Tim. Timbaland? He reminds me of like Timbaland? Fat, you know, he reminds me of Timbaland or or Listen, fat, or but fat Timbaland and school. Promiscuous with Nelly Furtado, that uh, that worked. Yeah, that worked. That worked. He did. Records. He did more than that. Yeah, it's, it's certain <laughs> records, but Swiss to me, if Swiss never raps, I'm cool. Yeah, and that's no disrespect to Swiss. I don't. I just don't look for Swiss for that. I look for Swiss for just exactly what he did: producing these records and making a good <laughs> body of content. What? what did, oh, sorry, fuck. That's what Tim what, does. What did y'all? What did y'all think about? Because um, I'm seeing mixed reviews on the record with the locks, which is not really locks. It's really just kiss and styles. And styles. Um, Holiday. Me, uh, per, me personally, because um, a lot of people are upset that Kendrick wasn't rapping on the um, on the yeah, record. Yeah, just did the hook, right? I wasn't all that mad at it. I felt like it was '90s hip hop where you yeah. get the, where you get to hear the in and out of of Kiss and and Styles. I wasn't that mad at it. it, it I think the accent was uh, Kendrick on the hook. Well, also like there was a certain theme within the project where it was based on the '90s and certain conversations about the '80s. Yeah. And Kendrick is younger, so yeah. there's. I mean, obviously, you know, there are certain things that still correlate between the past and the present or current times when it comes to growing up in the hood or in certain locations like that. But you know, they were. You know, it seemed like they were telling more of their stories. Yeah. So it's just kind of like 
Mm. I was honestly, I was fine with it. Yeah, I, I me too. I was fine. I was with fine it. with it too. I'm a Swiss fan. So. Um, on the on the yeah. first yeah, uh, on the, on the first go around, I was I'm I was like I was confused because I was listening to it and I was like, damn, this is this feels really really quick. And then when I looked at it, I'm like, all right, the track list is ten. And then I thought about it. I said, yo, if 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 short albums were ten records, I'd be okay with that. Like it felt yeah. it felt like a good in and out. It gave me like the mixtape feel. It gave me that old vintage sound that yeah. was missing. The same thing I feel like that Wayne brought uh, with his project. I, I feel like that sound is now starting to come back. And obviously, yeah, uh, Wayne. Uh, uh, I mean, Swiss spearheads that with the Wayne single yeah. with the fucking. Uh, uh, name of that record. I can't even think of the name of the record right now. But Wait, uh, yeah, I forgot. What? What was exactly which one? Called? What, um, Thanks, Chris. Which album? Swiss. Oh, shit. That's good to know. I didn't know that. Yeah, okay. J. Cole. Who's your Yo, Cole J. Produce? Cole be doing a lot of shit. Cole produced he, he's, Swiss Beats album? Yeah, but that's fire. So you figure Cole has done that. He 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 directed um, uh, Bob Boat, Royce's shit. Cole, Cole, well, Cole they may be have, secretly the GOAT. Well, well they, oh. also, they also, their uh, Drupalville acts were dropping stuff, Whoa, too. Yeah, so yeah. he probably was working yeah. on that, too. Damn. Um, yeah, because, like, I mean, J.I.D. dropped a single yeah. not too long ago. What is it, like, 151 Rum? Mm-hmm. Um, J.I.D. is so fire, by the way. J.I.D. <laughs> is really fire. Um, but, yo, freaking Pusha T came again with that yeah. Greek mythology, yeah. the Midas touch. Yo, it was crazy, though, because, like, when I first heard that, I mean, when he, when he first put that line, I was like, he, I know he's obviously talking about molestation, but... Then I was like Midas. I was like, okay, here he goes and again with that Greek myth. And touch I was like, gold. I win. And then it's touch the gold. Mm-hmm. But then also the King Midas touched his own, oh, daughter, his daughter. Yeah, his own daughter and turned her to gold. But it's that little incestuous thing that ties back to the uncle mm-hmm. touching the girl. And I was just like. Yeah, it was interesting. I was like. It was mm. interesting. It, it just lets you know that there's layers to push. Like, and you obviously get that because he he's, he's an artist. He yeah, that's history. A, that's, he's that's a, my it point. It seems like he's a history he, person. He, he's, cause he's one of those rappers that you got to really be careful with because he'll kill you with metaphors that are completely over your head with Greek mythology and fucking all types of shit. And you won't catch it probably until later on where you're like, fuck, he got me. Thought I didn't just even realize popped, it. Thought just popped in my head. Yes. Do you think cannabis would have survived in today's day? If, he can, if cannabis came out now with his metaphors and his punchlines? No. And I think um, only reason is because um, there's a way to do metaphors now. The way metaphors are done now, um, it's a little bit more creative than what it was back in the day. Cannabis was creative, no? Eh. It's well, it's Can- also see, well, cannabis early cannabis, like for me, was like that nigga. Like cannabis was fucking fire. But then I thought there was like allegations where he wasn't writing his shit, and then like there was a bunch. Then he of went shit. crazy. Right? And then yeah, he went so, to and, well, it's I, also I don't, I don't know if he ever wrote it. It's you know also so that really period know. of time. Like who was it? I just know I heard it from Rob. But like it's that period of time where we're in like the disco era of hip hop, where when it comes to certain lyrics, like. It, it's crazy to say, but like if your pen game is like too strong, like yeah. it's gonna go but over was, certain audience that's groups' they, heads. But that's what Eminem was saying when he went at cannabis. He said, you're using too many complex metaphors, and it's going over people's heads. But yeah. that, I mean, I just thought because you said push. I mean, push now more than ever, I think it's gonna go over people's yeah, heads. That, that's what, that's heads. what I'm saying. We're in a microwave era. Anything deep yeah. is really gonna like go I said, over the disco heads. era. Everyone's yeah. about beats and let me feel turn up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, cannabis that's will, how they're on. Right cannabis will be considered Socrates now. Well, yeah, and, uh, what? <laughs> Hell yeah, <laughs> Hell yeah, <laughs> fucking. Um, all right, so we have some honorable mention albums that we will cover at some point. Yeah. Um, Joel, uh, Joel Ortiz, uh, yes. Mona Lisa, Fire Project. Yes. Uh, we have Vince Staples, FM Fire, and then uh, Freddie Gibbs. So we oh, have uh, Freddie Gibbs is really good. Yeah, I didn't get all the way through Freddie uh, Freddie Gibbs, so yeah. I have to finish listening to Freddie shit. Vince um, Staples was good. Yeah, I liked I, it, his was. Uh, what I liked about his was you really got like you got like that West Coast feel, was but like, it wasn't too West Coast yeah. style where it, like it's a turn off to certain people. He, he made me feel like I was in Cali, um, I and I liked it. it. And then no, I, for real, that's not that's not a diss. He he really made yeah. me feel like I was in Cali. Like I I felt that I was in Cali. And I really liked the song Tweakin' that had. Tweakin I, I think hard. Keelani was on the hook. Yeah, yeah. I really liked that song. And then um, yeah, no, his project was like a good listen. I I really enjoyed it. And like he's like I said, it was one of those projects where like, cause I mean to 
us, we can listen to the West Coast sound, especially you with E40. But like for average listeners, like that may be like they're not really used to it. It's like, hard. Especially it's the hard. Bay Area sound yeah, and stuff like that. Like it's people hard. aren't used to certain California yeah. sounds. But he did it in a way where like you still got that feeling, but yeah. it was enough where it's kind of like an introduction. It's, like let me just give you a little bit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let me mm-hmm. give you a little bit. Not go too hard. Too much. Let me give you a little, a little bit, bit so you know. Yeah. But that you can still appreciate it. Yeah. I'm I'm rolling with you. Um, I think that uh, as you listen back to that album, you'll start to appreciate it more. And Vince, just, I, I think um, I'm, I'm a big Vince Stamp fan just because he's so charismatic. He's funny. He's smart. Like he, he's, Don't give he, a fuck. Yeah, and that's the other thing. He's he's super, super woke. <laughs> so that was the other reason why um, I, I was interested to hear his project and liked what I heard thus far. So I'm, 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 I can't wait to listen to yeah, it. Yeah, his skits were interesting, too. The skits yeah. that he had in there. <laughs> People still do skits? Yeah. Yeah, he has skits haven't, in there. Yeah. Haven't heard an album with skits in a minute, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He had um, <laughs> he had a Tyga skit, which is really dope because yeah. I think in that skit, Tyga pl- like his song played a little bit within mm. that for the interlude, and then he has the Earl Sweatshirt interlude. Yeah, so it was like, and then he had the uh, five six two four five three nine three eight two skit. Yeah. So he added those interludes and skits into it, which I thought was really cool. Kind of check that out. Yeah, yeah. listen to it's it. It's pretty I think um, you you definitely like I it. I think I think you'd like it. I do, especially because you like the West Coast sound. Um, definitely listen to Joel's project, Mona Lisa. I think you'd like Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa's hard. No, I'm definitely Mona Lisa's hard. Joel's it, hard. It, it it it. I feel like just for Joel, it, it's been a while since we've heard Joel. Mm-hmm. So to finally hear him, like just. You know, he's been quiet, like really, really quiet. Where you're used well, to him having those one record, uh, one records on the radio and shit like that. Like, so to hear a complete project where it, it sounds fresh, it sounds yeah. like he's energized. It sounds like he's he's in a different space. I like it. But don't you find it interesting? Uh, not interesting in a bad way, obviously. But don't you find it interesting? Because I know, like previously, he talked about his experience with Shady Records, and mm-hmm. then like talking about management and stuff and then he just releases this project mm-hmm. and it seems like like you said like a more liberation i yeah. thought it was really yeah. interesting how like after that that conversation he's had that mm-hmm. he just drops this project yeah well he dropped some like, beforehand um but no but what i'm saying is like i don't know like i i, I didn't hear the previous project but mm-hmm. like it just seems like Oh, like this is like a free man. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Could like be. a situation where he just feels like a little more like free to be himself or a free situation. I don't know, but I just thought it was inter- interesting that kind of like correlation about when he had that um, when he was talking about like the management stuff with mm-hmm. all that situation. Yeah, he was kind of, honestly he was kind of saying what Joe was saying, but not like saying names. <laughs> there were there were subtle things. Yeah, subtle things he did, and then he just there were subtle things. Yeah, in there. and then he dropped this project, and I'm good for him. It's yeah, dope. Yeah, I like it. So shout out to him. Um, I guess, yeah, let us know, because uh, I know that there's a lot of music to cover um, oh, for, yeah. for, for the casual fan, even though for us it's our job. Let us know what your top albums, top records are. What do you think about the Swiss record and all that kind of stuff? Um, and then also, as always, check us out, Grassroots Pod, uh, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Um, as always, subscribe um, and hit the noti. Uh, so you can be notified mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. Noti. Yeah. Goddamn word. Yeah. Hit Nody. the Noti. Uh, so you can be notified uh, on newest episodes. Sign up also for our newsletter because we'll be notifying you guys about exclusive content, events that we're a part of, and everything like that. Yeah. And then um, we're going to be dropping a link very soon, uh, pre-order for Grassroots Hoodies. Uh, mm-hmm. I know you guys have been asking for it. So that is coming uh, very soon So look out for the pre-order link For the group me chat uh, You guys obviously Because you have exclusivity with us You'll have that link early Yes In the game uh, Before they sell out uh, With that said It's a good episode For nothing happening in hip hop Yo holla at me for Bohemian Rhapsody too If you've seen that movie Oh my god Reg- At regular Nas I'm a huge Queen fan Freddie Mercury and all that A.K.A. Farouk You didn't know that did you? He's from Zanzibar. You saw my top twenty-five playlist on my. No, yeah, well, Queen iTunes. Queen was not you, up there. Do not let him front. Do not let him front. Queen was not up there. I can't wait to see your top twenty-five. Can you bring your your Dellen? <laughs> you so I can see <laughs> so I can see your fucking top twenty-five. Can you do that? Wait, that's not no, funny. No, he said <laughs> that's, no. that's not funny. He, he, he said you didn't have yeah, that. Yeah, bring, you have bring in your your Visco so we can look at your fucking lap, your desktop, your PC. Yeah, I want to discuss the movies at regular Nas. He's Killer BH. Oh yeah. That's Aaron Ashley like, excuse Simon. Excuse me, excuse me. I can, oh. I can do myself. My name is Aaron Ashley oh, Simon. Oh, you, you. 
Because I wasn't, I wasn't part of that little situation Ooh, you had. Word. You came and tried to word. like take, yeah, take I tried, my. I tried to close it out. Yeah. But you yeah, tried to nah. close it out. It ain't gonna happen. Nah, nah. Stay yeah. with your Bohemian <laughs> Rhapsody yeah. over First, there. Yeah. Yo, don't ever disrespect. Stay over Queen. there. <laughs> don't disrespect Queen. Uh, First of all, I don't disrespect Queen. I, I, I love Queen. I love. I listen to the music. I ain't that young. I listen to the music. But anyway. Because now he's on his old tip. Yeah. And he getting cranky because he got to go to sleep. Yeah. My name is Aaron Ashley Simon. <laughs> I'm Brandon Killer BH Hall. I'm, at, I'm regular Nas. I was going to say I'm at regular Yeah, Nas. look, at regular oh, Nas. I thought you were about to say yeah, Matt. I was like, what the fuck? He got loosened up that fucking turtleneck smock on his fucking neck. <laughs> he's freaky Nas. <laughs> and we out. Grass, <laughs> <laughs>